Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another modding tutorial for 1.8. In the previous episode we looked at setting up our 1.8 environment. If you haven't seen that, I suggest you go check it out. Uh, just so you're ensuring that you have got it all correctly set up for uh, Forge 1.8. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's start to create our tutorial mod. So we want to go to this folder over here called Source Main Java and there is a there is an example mod in there we're just going to go ahead and delete that because we don't need it and what we want to do is click on this source source main java folder and you're going to click on new java package so a package is basically a um, basically like a folder imagine like we have com dot mr crayfish obviously com dot mr crayfish this is basically a directory so com and this is a new folder called Mr. Crayfish, but instead of the forward slash, we just use a dot. Um, and usually, typically, in uh, Java, you use the name of your website, but backwards. So if it was mrcrayfish.com, we use com.mrcrayfish. Now, if you don't have a website, you can simply do like your Minecraft username, say Mr. Crayfish, and then do the name of your mod. So you could have like um, block blocks plus. That could be the name of your package, but. I'm going to be doing it properly, so com.mrcrayfish and that's going to do tutorial finish and then we're going to create a new class, so a new java class and we're going to call this tutorial mod and now we've got to create three methods this is the pre-initialization method the initialization method and the post initialization method. So basically, you want to type in public void pre init and then we need parameters. Now, this has to be specifically this, it can't be anything else. So you want to type in fml pre initialize pre initial initialization event and space event as the parameter name. I'm going to go on new line. Now press Control Shift O and that will automatically import it for you. Then we're just going to copy this, paste it down here, but instead of pre, just change that to init and then remove the pre from this parameter here. And there we go. Do again Control Shift O, it'll automatically import the class. And then the last one is post, so we'll type in post init. And then in in between FML and initialization, type in post with a capital P. And then again, Control Shift O to automatically import it. Now above each of these methods, we've got to create or we've got to type in an annotation called event handler. Oops. Event handler. And again, you want to do Control Shift O to import it. And this basically tells Forge that these are methods which are used on the load up of the game. So it will know that this is a pre initialization method from the parameters here. So anything to do before loading up goes in here, then this is during the loading, then after the loading. Now we need to create an another annotation at the top here. Kind of forgot about this, should have done it first. But anyway, at the top of our class here, you want to type in at mod and then you want to do some brackets and then inside of there you want to type in mod id equals and then this is the mod id of your mod so it has to be a string and what we're going to do is instead of that what we're going to do is we're going to create another class inside our package here so click on that click on new class and we're just going to call this reference and then what we're going to do is inside there we're going to create some uh, final strings so public static final string and then we're going to call this mod underscore id equals and we're just going to call this tm for tutorial mod then we're going to create another one called public static final oopsie final string and then we'll call this mod name equals tutorial mod and then the last one is going to be public static final string version equals 1.0 because it's version 1.0 of the mod. Go ahead, save that. Then we're going to go back to our mod class. And 
for here we're going to type in reference. Mod ID, comma, and then we've got another one called name equals reference mod name, and then another one, well, the last one is version equals reference dot version. So there we go. And now you also need to import that, but again, press Control Shift O to automatically do it for you. Go ahead, save your class, and you should have no errors. So that's pretty basic. You should understand this if you have done modding before. Um, and yeah, that's going to be ending off this episode today. I think it was quite short, but in the next episode, we're going to be getting straight into adding items into the game because I'm sure you guys want to know. Uh, 1.8 again has changed it and you need to use JSON files to render your textures. It's quite annoying, but uh, I'm going to be sharing my knowledge with you guys because I felt like I don't want to keep it to myself. I want to give it to you guys. So uh, make sure you stick around for the next episode. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you want to keep up to it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.